we have mapped two variable uh, SOP expressions into KMAP. So here we'll be doing the same for three variable expressions. So here we have two expressions. So looking at these expressions, uh, first thing which we have to determine how many number of variables and what type of expressions. So there are three variables in each of these expressions A, B, C and they are all SOP type expressions, sum of products. So we'll be using three variable SOP KMAP. So I've already uh, drawn the format of two three variable KMAPs. Now simply we have to map the Boolean expression. So here the first one, it is A bar BC plus ABC. So it represents the values 3 and 7 decimal values. So in order to map it, we have to mark the corresponding cell, you know, this Boolean term corresponding to the cell as 1 because it is SOP. So A bar BC. So here A bar, the horizontal component A bar, next is BC, BC, A bar BC. So this cell corresponds to this boolean term it will be marked as 1 because it is present in the expression. Second one is ABC. So horizontal component here from the KMAP is A. Vertical component is this BC. A, A, BC. So this mapping done. We have mapped. Next is this a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c a b bar c bar a b bar c so it corresponds to this min term the decimal value 0 1 4 5 this is the symbol for sum of min terms okay sum of products is also called as sum of min terms so it is 0 1 4 5 so we have to map this boolean expression into the three variable kmap so we have to highlight or mark the corresponding cells you know corresponding to these boolean terms as one so first is a bar b bar c bar so here we have a bar the horizontal component b bar c bar the vertical component a bar b bar c bar that is one okay so next is a bar b bar c a bar b bar c horizontal vertical one next is a b bar c bar so a is the horizontal component b bar c bar is the vertical component so a b bar c bar next is a b bar c a is the horizontal component b bar c is the vertical component so we have mapped so we have mapped the boolean expression this is the mapping these two boolean expressions we have mapped this is the second one so here we have again two more uh, boolean expressions of three variables which we have to map so this expression it is given by a bar b c bar a bar b c a b c bar plus a b c min term expression 2 3 6 7 corresponding decimal values so again we have to map each of these boolean terms into the corresponding cell so first a bar b c bar a bar the horizontal component b c bar vertical component a bar b c bar a bar b c bar so that will be marked as 1 because it is SOP. Next is A bar B C. A bar B C. A bar B C. Horizontal vertical. This will be marked as 1. Next is A B C bar. A B C bar. A B C bar. Okay. This. This will be marked as 1. Next is the final A B C. A, B, C. So we have mapped this Boolean expression into the key map. Fourth one is this. 
ए बार बी बार सी ए बार बी सी ए बी बार सी ए बी सी सो इट इज वन थ्री फाइव सेवन सो मैप इट एंड टू दिस बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन फर्स्ट इज ए बार बी बार सी ए बार बी बार सी ए बार बी बार सी दिस हॉरिजोंटल वर्टिकल नेक्स्ट इज ए बार बी सी ए बार बी सी दिस सेल विल बी मार्क्ड एस वन नेक्स्ट इज ए बी बार सी ए एंड बी बार सी दिस विल बी मार्क्ड एस वन एंड नेक्स्ट विल बी ए बी सी ए एंड बी सी ए बी सी ओके सो यू है मैप्ड this boolean expression also into the three variable carnot map so this is how we map whatever boolean expression is given of three variables into a three variable k map so first thing you have to determine the number of boolean variables and what type of boolean expression is it sop or pos if it is sop you have to mark 1 if it is pos will which will discuss we have to mark 0 but that K map has a slight difference, which we'll discuss when we'll discuss about the POS K map. Okay. Okay. So we have mapped two and three variable expressions into K map. So now we'll do the same for four variable K maps. So here we have a four variable expression. It is a very uh, lengthy expression, as you can see. A, a bar, B bar, C bar, D bar. Then A bar, B bar, C bar, D. A bar B C D bar A B bar C D bar A B C bar D bar A B C bar D A B C D bar and A B C D. The main term expression zero one six ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. So we have to map it into the four variable K map. So I have already drawn the format of a four variable K map. So we have to simply map it. So first is A bar B bar C bar D. So this is the order. in which i have represented the horizontal and vertical components ab on this side cd on this side here a is the msb d is the lsb so first expression uh, boolean term a bar b bar c bar d bar so a bar b bar c bar d bar this will be marked as 1 next is a bar b bar c bar d a bar b bar c bar d this Will be marked as one because it is SOP, okay? SOP type expression, so we'll be marking those cells as one corresponding to the Boolean terms present. Next is A bar B C D bar. A bar B, okay? A bar B C D bar. So this will be marked as one. Next is A B bar C D bar. A B bar, okay. A B bar and C D bar, okay. This, this will be marked as one. Then will be uh, A B C bar D bar, A B C bar D bar. This will be marked as one. And uh, next is. A B C bar D, which is A B C bar D, this. Then A B C D bar, A B C D bar, this one. Then A B C D, this. So we have mapped all the Boolean terms that are present in the Boolean expression into the four variable S O P K map. So this is how we do for the. four variable expressions so here we have another four variable sop expression which we have to map so the expression is given by this a bar b bar c d a bar b c bar d a bar b c d a b bar c d a b c bar d a b c d bar and a b c d with min term uh, values 3 5 7 11 13 14 15, 15 corresponding to these terms so again we have a four variable k map the format is ready we simply have to map it so first is a bar b bar c d a bar b bar c d okay 
नेक्स्ट इज ए बार बी सी बार डी ए बार बी सी बार डी ए बार बी सी बार डी नेक्स्ट इज ए बार बी सी डी ए बार बी सी डी ओके नेक्स्ट इज ए बी बार सी डी ए बी बार सी डी ए बी बार सी डी नेक्स्ट इज ए बी सी बार डी ए बी सी बार डी ए बी सी बार डी नेक्स्ट इज ए बी सी डी बार ए बी सी डी बार ए बी सी डी बार नेक्स्ट इज ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी सो वी हैव मैप्ड ऑल द Uh, boolean terms that are present in the expression into the k map okay so we have uh, seen how we can map two variable three variable and four variable expressions sop expressions into k map okay okay so let me share another thing with you related to three variable and four variable k maps is that sometimes it is very uh, convenient and easy to do one thing is to highlight the decimal value of each cell in the k map okay we have the three variable k map here and the four variable k map here so sometimes uh, in sop or pos the expression will be given directly in terms of like this 0 1 2 3 like this or pos it will be like that whatever so in that case by looking at these values the min term or max term values you can directly mark the respective cells as 1 or 0 if you highlight the decimal value of each cell at the bottom it is very very easy you can do it very quickly in a matter of few seconds see this cell this cell here it is 0 0 0 1/2 1/2 1/2 c bar which essentially means 0 in decimal value this cell similarly this cell it is 1 1 0 or a b c bar it has a decimal value of 6 so we write slightly in a very small uh, way we'll write at the bottom at the end at the corner its decimal value so like that we can do in with each of these cells so it will be very easy to just by looking at the min term or max term expressions when it is given in that way directly by looking at what min term or max terms are given depending on the sop or pos type we will directly mark the respective cells as one it will save a lot of time similarly we can do it for four variable k map here also respective to each cell we have highlighted the decimal value of each cell for example this cell here it is a b bar c bar d bar which is 1 0 0 0 which is basically has a decimal value 8 similarly this cell here it is a b bar c d bar okay so here it is 1 0 1 0 which is 10 decimal value is 10 okay similarly this cell here it is a bar b bar c d bar which is 0 0 1 0 which has a decimal value 2 so we have written slightly in a small way at the bottom corner as to we have marked each cell by its decimal value so whenever the expression will be given in terms of the min term like this or the max terms we can by looking at those values we can 
mark the respective cells as 1 and 0. So it will save a lot of time. So here I just wanted to share a simple concept, a trick with you which we can use while solve uh, simplification of Boolean expression which will save a lot of time. Okay. So here we have discussed about uh, mapping of Boolean expressions into K-maps. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.